Welcome to another episode of the Free Tag Team. The people that are working for you for free because we like to do that. So today we are going to cover a new, a new way of installing the Free Tag server. As you know, a Free Tag server can be a very complex software, especially if you install all the different components. Apart the core Free Tag server that you can see here, we have also the web UI, we have the web map, and then we have the Freetag Hub that is a system to integrate Freetag server with many other components. For example, the video service that allow you to stream your videos so that uh, not only the video is visible, but so that you have a uh, information on all the connected client that someone um, is streaming uh, the videos. So in this sense, um, the configuration of all of that, even if your experience require more than one hour, typically for non-experienced people requires up to four days. And we have seen even worse cases. And we have now reduced all of that to as uh, simple as five minutes, exactly five minutes and 24 seconds. Let's see how we can do this thing. So the first thing that we need to do is to uh, go to our new project called the FreeTag Hub installation. And you see that is the main repository for the FreeTag team. And here we go to the FreeTag Hub installation. And we scroll down and we go to the section zero touch deployment. And in the zero touch deployment, we are going with a single line of text to install all those components. And that is the single line of text. It's a little bit long, but all we need to do is to copy it and to use it within a digital ocean. So in digital ocean, um, after you create a droplet, you have the ability to start a console uh, inside the browser. And that is what we will do uh, we will use this console here. Let's make it a little bit bigger like that. And inside the console, we uh, need to uh, have the single line of text. Currently, it's very long, and we are evaluating um, how to do it um, to short it up. But for now, it is like it is. Um, so this is going to do a lot of stuff in five minutes and 20 seconds. The main thing that uh, we'll do is to update the operating system. So we need to ensure that you have the correct version of the operating system with uh, all the libraries that are required to install. And apart that, uh, on the top of the standard libraries, including Python uh, 3, uh, we will need also something new called Ansible. So Ansible is an incredible tool that allows you to manage remotely uh, machines. And instead of sending uh, comments uh, by using something like Putty, you can script all of that and automate um, the complete installation. And that is exactly what we did. Now the operating system section is uh, done and we are moving to the next uh, uh, section that is the real installation of uh, FreeTag server. And uh, we are downloading PIP. We still use PIP and this installation is not going to uh, take over the standard installation. The standard installation gives you complete power but that is connecting all the dots together uh, so that especially for a um, user that is not so experienced you have the best and quickest possible uh, process so freetag server is now uh, installed and we are going to move for the ui and after the ui we get the web map in this step so the web map is uh, downloaded, the, the fresh version of it from the repository. Uh, all is the very last version. 
And by the way, if you already have one installation, that will update your installation to on the uh, last version of the whole platform. Um, after the web map, we have the installation of uh, Node-RED. Now, Node-RED is not a uh, sim single software, but really it's a development environment. The web map is basically a package Node-RED plus some functionalities, but here we are installing the complete Node-RED, and maybe in future we may need to change that, but that is why this installation step will require a little bit more time and I'm going to pause and to restart when this is completed. Okay, now Node-RED um, Node is based on something called uh, Node.js. So Node.js has been now installed and on the top of uh, that we are going to install Node-RED. And the next thing is we push the components. So we are pushing two different components uh, to Node-RED and we are configuring them. And the two components that we are currently installing is the video checker and also the salute report. That is an example how to use uh, the REST API to push information. And that is the end of our installation. You can see that the script has been successful, 101 jobs that have been executed. And here you have the URL for the different services that are being installed. So the first thing to do is to check out if everything works as expected. We can copy the URL with the port for FTS to check out if that uh, work uh, properly. And I open here a new uh, window and we can log in with admin and password. Remember that the most important thing is to immediately change your login. So you can do that here in profile. You can change, you, you cannot change the name of admin, but you can change the password being password with uh, something more secure. And we see that the system is working. All the services are active apart the Fed that is Federation is not activated by default and the web map is also working and we don't have currently a user connected but if we will have a user connected it will display okay now we have connected a client and we see that the client is popping up in the web map so the web map is working and the next thing that we want to check out is that uh, also the video server uh, is working and we are able to push uh, videos directly into the clients. So we need to check out that the video server is running and that is the good IP to test. So we are going to copy paste this IP and we see that something is going on here. So that is the result of the IP. And finally, we want also to see if uh, the uh, node red is working and the flows are installed. So we copy this URL and we will pass here and we see here we see the welcome screen and not only we have installed not red but we have also two flows that are installed so the video checker and the salute um, script so this is all for today and you have seen how you can install in five minutes a very complex configuration uh, the system has been tested for now on the cloud on a 
a provider called DigitalOcean. And we'll, when we release it, uh, we'll be also running on any type of uh, Ubuntu installation, including a Ubuntu on the Pi. So thank you and see you next time.